After living in New York for many, many years, few things warmed me up and made me feel better on a cold winter day than matzo ball soup. And today I have a wonderful recipe for you. So I like to save all my chicken trim and bones and stuff like that in the freezer. And then one day I make a big, beautiful soup. So I just add it all to a pot. I have some chicken feet. I'm cutting off the nails. I'm adding the chicken feet to the pot as well. I also have some duck bones. Um, this is from duck breast that I roasted. I saved the carcass. That makes really good soup. Add everything to a pot, cover with cold water, bring up to a boil and skim aggressively. For the first hour, you're really gonna need to skim like crazy. Just go crazy, just skim, skim, skim. And then after the first hour, bring it down to a simmer. Simmer it for about six hours. At about the four hour mark, I dropped a piece of chicken breast in the soup and I simmered for about an hour until it was cooked through. And that's gonna be the chicken in the soup later on in the dish. So let that cool, we'll eat that later. And now at the five hour mark, we're gonna add our vegetables. So we have a parsnip, we have an onion, we have a few carrots, we have some parsley stems, we have some celery, garlic. And I do the ramen technique where I add the aromatics and vegetables at the very end of cooking. I think that gives it a better flavor overall rather than simmering from the beginning, which kind of mutes the vegetable flavor. Try it out, I think you're gonna be happy with the results. So right before you strain the soup, skim the top. There's gonna to be some beautiful schmaltz that we're gonna add in our matzo balls. That's all flavor right there, that is so good. So skim the top, get that grease off, let it cool. It's gonna separate, and that's the fat we're using in our matzo balls. Now let's make the matzo balls. So we have three eggs. I'm using a cup of the Manischewitz matzo ball mix. I like to beat my eggs just a little bit so everything mixes together more easily. So I'm using one full cup of the matzo ball mix. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of that schmaltz, and I'm also gonna add three tablespoons of club soda. I'm gonna mix it all together, and I'm gonna let it cool for about 30 minutes at least. Once it cools, it's gonna thicken up, and it's gonna make really flavorful matzo balls. You don't really need to add salt. Everything has nice seasoning in it. Okay, so let's strain the soup. With every soup, I do it the same way. I strain it, use a bigger strainer, preferably, but I strain it and I cool it really, really fast and I just put it in the fridge so you don't have to worry about it going bad. Now we're gonna chop up some vegetables. I'm adding carrots. You can slice them any way you'd like. I'm just gonna add carrots to boiling water and cook them until they're soft. There's no secret. Add a little salt to the water, cook them until they're soft, reserve them, chop a little bit of dill, put it in the fridge. That's for garnish. That adds great flavor to the soup. And we're also gonna cook some noodles. Any kind of noodles work. I'm using orchetti, that's kind of random, but you can use like macaroni or penne, whatever. Now let's make the matzo balls. So I'm doing two tablespoons per ball, and I'm just gonna use a tablespoon measure, scoop two scoops in my hand, make sure your hands are a little bit wet, roll them into a ball, and put it on a plate. So in between each ball, I dip my fingers in water, rub my hands in water, and I just continue until I make the whole batch, which makes about nine matzo balls. You can make them smaller if you'd like. The size is completely up to you. You could do like teaspoons if you want, but I just wanted bigger matzo balls. So what I did was I got a big pot, bring it up to a boil, add your matzo balls in. I boiled mine a little too hard. They started to break just a little bit. Don't boil too hard. Go very, very, very low and slow for 20 minutes. I put the lid back on, just let them kind of steam and simmer for about 20 minutes and they're completely cooked and they get nice and big and fluffy. So mine broke a little bit because mine were boiling hard. Don't boil yours too hard. The flavor was there though. Now to make this dish, what you're gonna do is add your cold soup to a pot, add some of your boiled carrots, add a little bit of your chicken breast that you pulled out of your soup, just rip it into pieces. And at this point, we're gonna add salt, as much or as little as you'd like, but nothing really has seasoning except for the matzo balls. So just add a good amount because you do want it to have good seasoning, good flavor. Now, once it comes to a boil, add your pasta. We don't boil our pasta from the beginning because it might overcook and it might break apart. Once everything comes to a nice simmer, put it in a bowl. And you can see that I blanched those vegetables last minute so they're nice and fresh and just, they have a little texture. They're not overcooked. The chicken's nice and juicy. The pasta's cooked well. And I just top it with the matzo balls and a little bit of chopped dill. And this is a fabulous soup, especially if you're feeling under the weather, it'll really make you feel better. And it's super nourishing. It's just comforting. It's such a terrific thing. So I hope you like this recipe. 
hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day and have a great soup. Thank you.